Why don't you wait a second, Boone? Oh, I thought you had it. No. Premature ejaculation. We have some 55-gallon uh, drums. There are, there's a, quite a few of them all over the property. There's a lot of this stuff. As you guys can see, we have a dumpster here now. Uh, so we're able to, to throw some of the trash, you know, and we're, we have to pick through it because we have wood We have aluminum that we're going to scrap and make a few dollars from to help fund this process and uh, Then we have trash for the dumpster, but a lot of this wood and branches and on the porch even there's Furniture and a lot of this stuff is burnable. So we're gonna cut the tops off of these 55 gallon drums and uh, create some some burning barrels and get them started and uh, who doesn't like a good fire? Let's do it. We got our trusty Milwaukee Sawzall. Hold on, T-Bone's coming. What's that? That shit's a lot easier when you're watching it on YouTube. Than doing it yourself? Than doing it at all. So T-Bone's down there, and we'll show that in another video. He's trying to get the 97 Chevy Silverado three-quarter ton that we acquired running. So he went on YouTube and saw how easy it was to hotwire something. You got it. That's the ignition. Jiggler. These are jigglers. I've never even seen these, dude. So now you just stick a screwdriver in there and it starts? No, I could have oh, started it right key. now. This is the key. If there was a battery in there, the lights will come on right now. I turned it to on to the yeah. run position. How much these cost? Eleven ninety nine Amazon next day delivery. That's how much your vehicle costs if we want it bad enough. Good thing we're not thieves. Awesome, dude. So uh, we hook up the battery. Use the jump box behind the seat. Driver's side, look in the uh, cubby that's in the seat. I have a jump box. See if you can get the uh, gauge cluster to power up. Behind my seat. I'm gonna cut the lids off some barrels. Where's it behind the back seat? Yeah, that compartment in the back rest. Right, right. going to make a perfect fire barrel and that way our fire is contained it's not dangerous no chance of uh, starting a fire Nothing's in here. no no did i take it out to charge it you looked in those compartments Baby, that's a GMC. Secret compartments.
some sludge in there. Yeah. You want to make a walk? Walk stew? Maybe some old oil. Definitely uh, smells yucky. Uh, not a lot though, just in the bottom. Could just be rusty water. We'll go with that. That's so we don't step in it. Ah, because it definitely felt pretty empty when I cut it open. Ashes to ashes. Ah, dust to dust. All right, that's one barrel. Branches. Let's see. That was the top. Still got the plugs in it. Uh, this was the bottom. Just got some holes in it. What did I just see? Oh, look at that. That's cool. I thought I saw some keys. Maybe it was the handle that I saw. What do you guys think? One stick? The tree's got to go. The tree's in very bad shape. We'll give us one shot. Boom! How much? A dollar. A dollar to stick it. So you hit your truck. <laughs> Thanks for that vote of confidence, Boom! so close oh that was the right distance double or nothing two dollars two dollars oh two dollars you better pay up all right let's cut this other barrel we have two fire barrels going at once. And every barrel we find moving forward will become another fire barrel. You're right, should have glasses on. What kind of glasses? Milwaukee. The best, baby. The best, baby. Fuel, M18, six amp battery. It's just like being plugged in at home. Love Milwaukee tools.
Number two. We'll leave that in the bottom. Makes it a little stronger. All right. We want a central location for our fire. Looks like most of that rusty water is gone now. This might burn just a little bit better than the other one. We want a spot. I can get the tractor by. Need to. Central to the leaf branches. Central to the porch. A lot of stuff can uh, get burned. I'm gonna get a rake. Smokey Bear happy. Because we know what Smokey says. Only you, only you can prevent the forest fires. Need killing. This is the whole point. We got so much debris. If I Pan the camera around. We're getting all these piles as we're trying to clean them. We're getting piles of sticks and branches. Yesterday we brought the dumpster in and we had to clear a, a road. We already have a road coming in for our trucks. But this is a Mack truck that came in yesterday. He's a double axle. He was a double axle, double rear axle Mac with a 30 foot container, 30 yard. So we had to clear out some additional stuff for him to make it through. So we got all these piles going everywhere. And that stuff is just clutter and it's in the spring snakes and all kind of critters will get into them. So while we're working during the day, we're going to keep these barrels going. And we're going to get rid of anything that we can burn. It's clean, no plastic, no trash, no paper, no anything that's problematic. But wood, especially uh, uh, branches and sticks. Green. We're gonna burn it up. Perfect example. Oh, furniture. Uh, 
I'm not in the furniture repair business. Urethane foam. Dumpster. We'll throw him away too. Now what's crazy, you don't want to burn it. Urethane. Because we don't want to smell it. But it does go right in the earth. If we go right up the street to Page, Page County Landfill, you dump the stuff right on the side of the mountain, and the bulldozer just grinds it into the mountain. these things are going I'll be able to get rid of a lot of stuff it's gonna be nice getting hot last night was 50 you know, last night was 29 degrees low today's high is 59 coldest day of the year October the 20th Last night was our coldest evening. bread in the bread box.
look. It's a mixture of wood. Trash. Metal. So it's not an easy clean. It's not like you just scoop everything up and put it in the dumpster. Because it's a waste of money. Because the wood can be burned. The metal can be scrapped. The plastic lasts forever. Got to go to the dump. I wish I could be listening to some music right now. All right, kids. We have a mild accelerant. Use a little bit of diesel, not gasoline, kids. Gasoline's way too flammable. That's how you burn your face off. Diesel burns nice and slow. torch here. Got this from a family member, WH. You know who you are. bit of smoke until that diesel burns off and then uh, should burn nicely. Uh, all right, that's exciting. It's a little chilly, so we get some warmth from the fire, especially in the weeks coming ahead. We're gonna get some more of these barrels. Probably have four of them at least that you can just feed now as we sort through the piles, we'll have a metal pile. <clears throat> we'll have a wood pile. And we'll uh, throw the trash in the dumpster. Should make things a little easier moving forward. Whew, that feels good. We made fire. You guys did see my hatchet stick, didn't you? Two dollars. Two dollars.
feeling good. And that's how we start fire. 